Hello, and welcome back to part two of our mod review. Once again, this is the Fossils and Archaeology mod review. Uh, there will be a link to part one in the uh, forum post. Now, uh, as you can see here, uh, where we left off on part one is, we have this plesiosaur egg, and it's cold. So, yeah, that is uh, not intended. Yeah. Oh. No, that's not... Oh, okay, well. Seeing as how we have this plesiosaur egg, and it was too cold to go in the water, uh, we'll have to do something else. Yeah, plesiosaurs have to be hatched on land. However, mosasaurs have to be hatched underwater. Now, it shows no status on the GUI. However, it's definitely hatching. So let's uh, let's make uh, another little thing for the plesiosaur because uh, we all like the plesiosaur because it's cute and it's got a long neck and all that. And the mosasaur, well, we'll get to him in a few minutes. Oh yes, and for all those dinosaurs that we spawned over here. If you actually grow them big enough, with the exception of the stegosaur, if you grow them big enough, they will hatch. Uh, I mean, not hatch. Um, you'll be able to ride them, and you can usually feed them, with the exception of some of the more predatory dinosaurs. Oh, that, that reminds me. Also, I have something in my inventory that will demonstrate... The use of a very nice item that you can get in this mod. It's called the Essence of Chicken. And what this essentially does is... Well, actually, no. I think I better let you decide on that. Yes, as you can see, we grew him. Now, this only works to a certain size, of course. After that, he has to grow even bigger on his own. Now, let's go check back on our two dinosaur eggs. Mosasaur. He's going to hatch real soon. And please, yeah, oh yeah, I forgot, we can't set him in the water. Yeah, okay, I just remembered, you have to put plesiosaur on the land. Ah, now, that was Mosasaur. How did he... Forget it. Okay. Let's push him in, and then I'll show you what he does. Now, um... The Mosasaur is a naturally aggressive dinosaur. However, there seems to be a bug with him. If he tries to attack you, he doesn't actually do anything. I think it's because he's too small. Which is why he can't. Now, some of the other predatory dinosaurs most definitely can attack and kill you if they want to. Okay. We, we got a while before he hatches, so let's move on to another dinosaur for the sake of time. Now... Uh, I'm going to need some fish for this one. So, let's see. Lots and lots of fish. He likes fish. Okay, here we have... Oh, darn it, I hate when that happens. Oh, for... This is the pterosaur. When he hatches, 
under normal circumstances, uh, you could be able to fly him when he goes to full size. However, because this mod is once again in the latest dev release, if you tried to fly him, the game would crash. Uh, you'll probably find this mod is still very buggy at the current moment. However, it is getting substantially better. I'm sure. Or the mod creator is just being lazy. Either way. So. And this will probably be a very good mod when the future rolls around, I suppose. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And while we're waiting for these two to hatch, ah, here we go. Here is a little plesiosaur. And you see this. This is a special feature. Plesiosaurs will basically obtain their own food source. You can feed them fish. And here he goes. He's going over to the mosasaur. Oh, my God. What, what, what's going to happen? What's going to happen? Ah, the mosasaur is killing the poor plesiosaur. Oh, you sick. I'm going to kill you for that. There. Suffocate on land, why don't you? Well, I don't know if he actually does suffocate. But still. Okay, the pterosaur's almost hatched. So, while we're waiting for the pterosaur, let me get the rest of the eggs that I didn't put down because they're so evil and mean. Yeah, we all remember what a Dilophosaur is. A Dilophosaur is that weird little frilly thing from Jurassic Park. That killed that fat idiot. Okay, well these four dino eggs hatch and they're probably going to kill us when they get the chance. But for now, oh, here he is. Isn't he just adorable? And he makes such a cute little noise. So, let's get this essence of chicken. And we'll grow him up. There we go. Now, all we gotta do is wait for these other four. Hmm. Well, oh, this might take slightly longer than I expected. Hmm. They should have a command that can grow eggs faster. But we did place down the Spinosaur egg first. And it's only at 60%. So by the time the Spinosaur is ready to hatch, we should see all four. Now, I, I guess I'll go through them while they're, they're still not hatched yet. And, and you see that, that name there? That's a, that's a bug, I think, that still needs to be worked out. So, first I'm going to go through the Velociraptor. Now, you see, the Velociraptor is an extremely smart but health-limited dinosaur. They like to actually have a group mentality, which is very odd for a Minecraft mob. But, uh, they'll usually form a group of three, and the oldest one there is known as the Matriarch. The other ones simply follow what he's doing. Now. If you leave a few of these things out in the jungle or something, they'll actually lay a whole bunch of eggs and your Minecraft world will lag so heavily that you'll have to go into creative mode and just slaughter them in mass droves. Now, here is his Spinosaur. <clears throat> you feed him meat and such, and he will basically do... Oh my god, they all hatched at once. Okay, here's the baby Velociraptor. He's running around... He can actually learn ch to open chests, so he's pretty smart. Here's the baby T-Rex. Now, he'll stay 